Hey folks, Bubba the Vulture, another time for another Let's Play. I hope y'all are doing very well. I'm in a fantastic mood, so I thought, that's right, why not go with Rolling Thunder? Rolling Thunder was the other game that somebody suggested that I played. And considering I had some success with uh, Let's Play Codename Viper, at least that's the thing that people seem to watch out of my Let's Plays, I figure why not? This game is a lot harder than uh, Codename Viper. If for no other reason, then you can't shoot while jumping. Also, you can't control yourself in midair while you're jumping, as you can in many other platformers, including Codename Viper. <sighs> this was a game originally uh, released in the arcades by... I think it was Namco. I probably said at the very beginning there. Oh, that's right. Force of habit. I just went into a door. In this game, there are... Well, there's not a bunch of hostages in every stage, and there's no commando whose grenade you need to get, any of that sort of thing. It's all just... Hold on a second. Yep, see? I knew I should have done that. Ah... <sighs> This game, it is all about just getting to the end of the stage. The only doors that you need to go into are the ones that are clearly labeled bullets or arms. Ah. Well, let's see whether or not we can soldier on with just that slight injury. Because, again, like Codename Viper, or rather Codename Viper was like this game, in the respect that uh, you do have a life bar, but pretty much if you get shot with a bullet, you're gonna die. But if you, like, tap uh, somebody or something like that, it won't necessarily kill you straight away. You know what? And yeah, you can almost be guaranteed that somebody, some description, whether or not it's soldier with a gun or soldier that takes one hit or two, somebody's going to walk out of just about every door that you come across. So it's uh, kind of nasty and unfortunate uh, that way. But, uh, yeah. Come on, let's do this. Oh boy. Wow, I'm surprised I got that guy in a uh, sort of OK Corral style gunfight. I kind of want to save the fact that I did that. I apologize in advance if you find this use of save states annoying, but it's pretty much going to happen if I get anywhere in this game, or if I'm going to get anywhere in this game, I should say. You can see down at the bottom uh, right area of the screen there, I have time with it, and the time actually goes down pretty quickly. I don't give you a whole lot of excess time to be just sort of messing around in these stages. Okay. Got through these stomping grounds. Alright, and then we get through. Area 1 is clear. So, whoa! Uh, so the Ku Klux Klan is apparently kidnapping some girl that I'm guessing is important to us. Okay, so next time, folks, uh, we're going to have to see what we can do about that. That doesn't seem like something we should let stand. Uh, anyhow, I'm Boba the Vulture. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.